Hello friends, welcome to the Osoka. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. In today's edition, we're going to talk about the Black Stars, Otuado, and one of the important things he needs to do as the head coach of the national team. Ever since he got appointed, I'm sure the FA has given him some things to do, but I'm going to tell you the exact responsibility and what I believe he should do as the coach of the national team, especially with Ghana's two important World Cup qualifiers ahead of us. That's what we are discussing on today's explainer. As usual, if it's your first time, hit on the subscription button and let's build this community together. But that was too much time. Let's get straight into today's news. So, there's one thing that Ghana has struggled with, and that is being good on the pitch. And that has come under basically two to three coaches. Otuado came, he managed to qualify us to the World Cup, went to the World Cup to go and play, and then Milo came. Milo, some way. No, it was Milo first. So Milo, Afcon, some way. Otuado came, qualified us to the World Cup, played at the World Cup. And then Chris Whitten came, went to the Afcon and West Afcon ever. But in all this, under all these coaches, one thing has been very common under them. The fact that the Black Stars players have looked very disorganized on the pitch. We've not been very organized apart from the two games we play against Nigeria. That looks like we played our best football in the last recent years. Almost all the time that the Black Stars players organize to play a football match, we are just not good enough. And one thing that goes through it is that in as much as these players don't excel when they are in the Black Stars JC, they go to their club side and they are one of the best players you can think of. And this is not new. Under Otuado, it was the same. Under Otuado's first coming, it was the same. And Amilo at the Afcon, same, same. Even under Chris Sutin, when all our players were coming in into the African Cup of Nations with a very high performing ratings or very high good match day results and all that, they showed up at the Afcon and played like they've never played football before. So in my opinion, in today's video, I believe in as much as Otuado may have a lot of responsibilities, one of them will be making sure that Ghana manages to qualify to the AFCON, Ghana manages to qualify to the World Cup. I believe one major thing he needs to do is to get the Black Stars players to replicate their club side performance. And to make it worse, I'm going to break some players and their performance at their club side and how bad they've been at the national team. And one of the players that have always said that Ghana, no matter what, has quality players. And it's obvious that whenever they go to their club side where they meet other players from other nationals, they are either starting the team or making marks in their club side. Those are players that play for the Black Stars. But when they show up in the Black Stars, you see, they play like Gota Gota players. They play like Sunday night footballers who are just there to just have fun, not to play and win games. We've lost teams that Ghana had no business losing to. And it's basically because these players cannot replicate the performances they show in their club side when they come to the national team. And I believe that is one major thing that Otuado, no matter what he's doing, he needs to start working on. Ghanaians needs to see the players that we see them perform at their club side show the same performance or show the same results when they play for the national team. Let's talk about some players for the Black Stars. They have been very worse for the national team, but goes to their club side and they are a special and exceptional talent. Let's start with Inaki Williams. Inaki Williams, ever since he decided to represent the Black Stars or represent Ghana instead of Spain, has scored only a goal for Ghana. Has scored only a goal. And that came recently when we were playing one of the World Cup qualifiers and he scored in Kumasi. He went to the African Cup of Nations and he was bad. It will surprise you to know that after that African Cup of Nations, Athletic Bilbao had a private jet waiting for him. He went straight to Spain and scored a goal 
against Barcelona on that same weekend. Inaki Williams, this season, has scored his 100th goal for Athletic Bilbao, which is goals that he has scored in his lifespan. That's fair. But this season, he has scored a whooping 13 goals for Athletic Bilbao. That's the best goals he has scored in his entire career. But he comes into the national team and he's one of the players that cannot even find a net. So now tell me, Ghanaians, what do you want, Ghan what do you think Ghanaians would want from the head coach? To make sure that at least Naki Williams, the Naki Williams we see at Athletic Bilbao can wake up one day, wear the national team jersey, and we'll see the same Naki Williams playing for the Black Stars. We can see Naki Williams at Athletic Bilbao and see some under 20 player be playing for the Black Stars. No. When Naki Williams is playing for Athletic Bilbao and we see the Naki Williams, when he comes and play for the Black Stars, we want to see the same Inaki Williams. We don't want to see some Yaya Boabi or no Yaya Boabi, he's already a footballer. So we don't want to see some Inaki, like we don't want to see a player who looks like he has never played football before. I'm talking, I've talked about Inaki Williams. I'm going to mention at least 10 Ghanaian players that have been very excellent for their club side. But the national team, we don't even know what they are doing. I won't even Talk about Kudus because Kudus, you know him. Look at Joseph Pencil, for instance. From Genk to LA Galaxy. In the same year. Joseph Pencil was bossing it for Genk, went to LA Galaxy and started scoring. He has scored more than five goals for LA Galaxy as of now. But this same player went to the African Cup of Nations and we just didn't know what he did for the Black Stars. That are the players that I'm talking about. Andre Ayu. And you had the worst, no, not only him, like the whole country, Black Stars players had the West Afcon. And you, when we were going for the Afcon, had no team. Yeah, maybe he assigned a contract with Leave, he, and he was on field, but he has not even played football. After the Afcon, Ghanaians wanted Andrea you to retire because, like, he didn't have club side football. At the Black Stars, he was struggling. He went to his club side, and Andre has scored six goals. To, to surprise everybody, a goal he scored was nominated for Ligue 1 goal of the season. In as much as he lost it at the end, but Andrew Ayu has turned his season around to the point that he has been one of the best talked about players in the French Ligue 1. Managed to help his club survive relegation. This same Andrew Ayu, we wanted to retire him all. At this point, the next Black Stars call-up, there's no way you would say that he wouldn't call Andrew Ayu. A player that was struggling to just find his feet in the Black Stars team is excelling for his club side. Players like Atizigi had no chance in even the Black Stars team when we went to the Afcon. They didn't even start the game. He, he saw his contract being extended and he's a player who features for St. Gallen every weekend. Fatah Shaako, you know what he has done. Qualified Leicester City, scored had a total of 18 goals goal contribution. Scored 13 goals with a couple of assists for his club side. This same player put it in the national team and pff, can't even play. Gideon Mensah and Elias Ousu. Gideon Mensah, Afcon, Elias Ousu in the midfield. A lot of people were not even happy with him. Like, he, he looked very disoriented when he was in the Black Stars national team. Or when he was in the national JC in the midfield. This same man went to his club side and has helped his club was there together with Gideon Mensah to qualify back into the French League uh, after going on relegation. You see, Salisu, Monaco has qualified back into the Champions League with Salisu. Semenyo was has been nominated for a Bournemouth player of the season. Nominated for Bournemouth player of the season. Jiku has scored goals. Jiku has scored a total of five goals as a defender. Look at it. Like these are a few Ghanaian players that are excelling for their club side. Like I can mention 20 Black Stars players that are excelling or have excelled for their club side this season. But these same players, when they come to the national team, they can excel. And that's Ghanaian. That's you can talk about a lot of things about the Black Stars, but one major thing that I believe Otuatu needs to start working on is getting the Black Stars players to at least replicate their Black Star, their club side performance when they were the national team, JC. Get them to play the same football they've been playing for their club side. And Otuadu will be Ghana's favorite because 
there was a time we watched Michael Essien play for Chelsea. He comes to play for the Black Stars, and it's the same Michael Essien you are seeing. Steven Appiah plays for Juventus. He comes to play for the Black Stars, and you see the same Steven Appiah. Baby just plays for Sutherland, comes to play for the Black Stars, and you see the same player. Sometimes even a better player as compared to their club side. But this time around, we watch them in their club side play so well, but in the national team, psh, all over the place. If you ask me, one thing that I, I believe Otuadu needs to work on is to get these Black Stars players to replicate what they do at their club side. Even if it's not 100% and it's 80%, there's no way no team can beat us. Because if you look at these individual players and the fact that they are benching players in their club side, I don't, I don't even want to talk about uh, Ibrahim Usman and the likes. Like they are young players who are now coming to be established in the national team. I'm talking about the already established names. If you go to the young players that are coming up, almost they, they are just bossing it left right center. But when they come into the national team, we are struggling. Yes, so Tuadu may be asked to win the Afcon, qualify Ghana to the World Cup, and whatever. But I think if he wants to win Ghanaian's heart, one major thing he needs to start working on is to get these Black Stars players to play very well and replicate the performance they've been showing in their club side in the national team. Because there's no way you can tell me that Naki Williams, who is in this hot form, cannot score a goal for the Black Stars. Look at Mohamed Kudus, what he has been able to do for West Ham United. If Kudus plays for the Black Stars and he's just all over the place, plays like some third division footballer who has never kicked football before, and that's where Ghanaians will be angry. Because that's if Ghana wins 4 0, 5 0, and we don't get to see these players that are playing so well in their club side excel. That's, that's where we people talk about commitment and the players are not committed enough. It's not like that. We don't get them to play the football we've been seeing them in their club side. So we are forced to think. That the players are not committed enough. I don't think so. So if you ask me, in today's explainer, I would say that one major thing that Otuado and his technical team needs to work on in Ghana's two World Cup qualifiers, or one thing that Otuado and his technical team needs to make it parity, is to get these Black Stars players play like how they've been playing for their club side. Let me know what you think. Because this has been a major problem. No matter how Ghanaian players are performing on social media, like are performing, when you go on social media, people are saying, hmm, how can they play like this? And they can't even play like, they can't replicate this in the Black Star GC. Has the Black Star GC been cared? No, it hasn't. It's a technical issue. And I believe the technical team needs to start looking at that and, and start solving Ghana's problem from there. That's my video for today's explainer. Let me know what you think about this and also let me know what you think about Ghanaian players and what the coaches can do to get them to play like how they've been playing for their club side. My name is Elali Frank. Until we meet again. Bye bye for now.